May 13th, 2015. Want to help me with a roll call? Sure. Uh, Tom Clooney? Here. Laura Gandia? Present. Rich Riley? Present. John Regan? Here. All other members are absent. Okay. Um, Do you want to appoint Tom? Yep. Uh, we will appoint Tom to the board this evening. Uh, alternate, but he's filling in for somebody uh, who's not able to make it tonight. I am expecting one more member, um, Al Gilbo. I did speak with him last week, so it's my understanding that he should be here. I don't know if you're familiar with, there he is, perfect, Sorry. now we've got five. Al is now present. Tell him we were expecting you. Have you been in front of the zoning board before? I have not. Pretty straightforward, nothing to be, uh, you know, too worried about or scared of. Um, I'm sure you've worked with Kevin. You've seen the application. Um, there are specific questions mm -hmm. on that application uh, that you are required to respond to. Um, I know based on what's in the file here that you have done so. Um, what we're going to do is uh, once we get started, when Kevin gets back with the other copies, um, you'll just start presenting your information, go through the criteria, your responses to those questions, um, present any material you want to present to us. Um, we may ask some questions. Uh, um, <laughs> you want the whole package? No, just my Yep, yeah, coming up. This is a Butters, which I don't think he needs to worry about, and the rest is letters from a Butters. Um, at some point, what we'll do is we'll ask for public input. Anybody who wants to speak in favor of your application or anybody who wants to speak against your application, we'll take that input. We may go back and forth with some additional questions, so forth and so on. Once we get through to a point where the board is, uh, you know, you've presented, said everything you want to say, we think we've heard everything we need to hear, we close public input and we start deliberating. It's here in public. You hang around while we're doing all of that. Um, we may have further questions for you. So at that point, we could even ask more questions. But um, ultimately, we get to a point where we want to vote. And what you're looking for is at least th three, three members to approve your application as long as you get that then your application for a variance is approved. If you don't get the three votes, it's denied. If it's approved, you still have to wait to 30 days. That's for an appeal period. In case anybody out there who's watching or here today that is um, feels that we erred in our decision in any way, um, they have an opportunity to appeal, a 30-day window to make that appeal. After the 30 days goes by, you're able to proceed working, obviously, with the building department. Any questions? What about if I'm denied? Do I have a right to appeal? You do. Again, um, there are certain requirements in order for that appeal to be granted. The first uh, request for an appeal would come to us. Um, what we're looking for in the event of a, an appeal would be um, some sort of new evidence, something that says, here's why you were wrong in your decision. Um, we would then, if we agree that there is some new information there, we would grant the request for an appeal. We start the process for a hearing all over again because notice has to go out to the public. So it's like another month later you come in for the, for the next hearing, if the appeal hearing. If we deny it, your request for an appeal, then you still have uh, the, uh, a right to appeal to the district courts, in this case, Nashua. Did I say that right? Yes, yeah. Superior Court. Superior Court. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't necessarily have to be new evidence if you want to, if you did appeal our decision. It could just be, uh, you know, where you feel we misinterpreted something. Um, again, just compelling reasons to hear an appeal. Okay. Just Thank you. Think happy thoughts, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With that being said, if there's yes, um, would you mind please read that? Right. 
right. Into the record. This is case number 2015-01. The name of the applicant is Paul S. Psycho. Psycho. 24 Pearson Street, Litchfield, New Hampshire. The owner is the same. Location of the property, 24 Pearson Street, Map 18, Lot 98. A variance is requested from Article 500, Section 502.03 of the Zoning Ordinance to permit an approximately 26 by 28 garage with living space above an approximately 12 by 12 breezeway to be constructed. The addition proposed would be 40.7 feet from the public right of way, Class 6 Road not yet built, Morrill Street. And then the denial letter. This is a letter from the code enforcement officer to the applicants. It reads, after reviewing your permit for an addition to your home at 24 Pearson Street, it was found that the addition would be <coughs> approaching 9.3 feet into the 50 foot setback of the unconstructed street named Morrill Street. Your permit is denied for not meeting the requirements of Article 500 Section 502.03. You may request a variance from the reference Article 500, Section 502.03 from the Zoning Board of Adjustment. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Okay. That being said, you may, if you wouldn't mind, just come on up here and then state your name for the record uh, and then dive right in. All right. Uh, my name is Paul Seiko. Address, sorry. 24 Pearson Street, Litchfield. Thank you. Um, my wife and I would like to put a, an addition onto our home. Um, and in order to do the addition in, a, in, a, in the way that we would like to be able to do it, we need to encroach um, 9.7 feet into the set, setback on a road that's only on paper at this point. Um, the reason for it is to my mother-in-law, who's uh, my father-in-law passed away in January, and she's not able to stay where she lives now due to financial constraints. And so we're doing this in order to help my mother-in-law uh, have some space that she can feel that it's her own. And as she gets older, she can age in place and not have to worry about um, the financial stresses, uh, et cetera. So um, we've, we've talked about it, doing it. Uh, <laughs> And I actually had, uh, we have, I have two daughters and a son, and my two daughters moved out last fall. So I thought maybe I was finally out of the need of having an addition, and then my, my father unfortunately passed away. So here I am. Um, I think if you, if you look at the pictures that I submitted, the photos I submitted, the all, just about every one of the houses of, of the pictures I submitted are on the street that I live on, Pearson Street. And they show basically an addition similar to what I'm looking to add onto my home. Um, so it would, it would be very appropriate to the neighborhood, and it would, um, it would, you know, it would not certainly wouldn't decrease values. Um, and even at 40 feet, I think the setback. I believe, if I understand it correctly, that I'm still 40 feet from the edge of the road that's not built yet, and I would actually be 53 feet away from the center line of the road if it's built. So I think in. You know, um, I meet the spirit of, a, of the law by, you know, the, the zoning ordinance by still be, being well, behind, well set back from the road. Um, again, it's not there. So this would be a corner lot if the road were there. Yes, it would be a corner lot, correct. Yeah. How long has the road been proposed? Is it a new road or is it a? <laughs> Well, I bought the home in 92, and it was then. It was <laughs> one of the first phases of Solomon. Uh, so it was proposed in 86? Yeah. Can look at the pictures? So I exhibit every one of those? Oh, you can Mark lump them together. Lump them together. Uh, that, that, would, that would be nice. <laughs> exhibit A. I also have a, another letter that I wasn't able to submit with the, when I submitted the application from another one of my abutters. Okay. If you could. Where is Pearson? Sawmill, right? You said, you said Sawmill? It's Where? right after. So um, if you go down Albany, you pass Sawmill. Ah, okay. Okay. That's not there anymore, is it? 
I'm, I'm five minutes. I was. Yeah. You know where the new Cougar Park is? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sawmills Park. The tennis courts there. Yeah. Got yeah. The whole subdivision on that side, Al Albuquerque. Okay. Is going to set it that whole thing. Okay. So it looks as though I have three letters from a butters. Correct. The other a butter is owns the two pieces of land behind me that goes all the way down to Route Three, and I have no way of knowing how to get contact them because it's kind of a corporate kind of a, a trust that owns the land. Uh, that's so interesting. You should say the, that. The three abutters are the one to my right, the one to my left, and the one across, directly across the street who signed the letter. Again, my land, is, you know, a bunch two lots behind me. That goes the, that runs all the way to. You can see it on the. Uh, it runs all the way back to Route Three. All right. Well, while Laura's looking at those photos, all uh, so each one of the letters are. It looks like a, a form letter. Yes. Uh, that's been signed. So it's the same substance, just signed by different Correct. people. Right. Uh, first one's dated five twelve two thousand fifteen. Uh, name on it is Tracy D. Simone Green, 22 Pearson Street, Litchfield, New Hampshire. We, I am one of the abutters of Paul and Colleen Sicko. Am I saying that right? Sicko. Sicko. Um, <laughs> High school must have been fun though. 24 huh? Pearson <laughs> Street. He, he was waiting for that so one, man. Fun. <laughs> that was rehearsed. They have reviewed the proposed addition. Especially when I fly a lot. Yeah. Mr. Sicko, please come to the front of the yeah, line. Right, huh? <laughs> Is there a sicko on board? <laughs> There's a psycho on board, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, we, I, am one of the abutters of Paul and Colleen Sicko, 24 Pearson Street. They have reviewed the proposed addition that they would like to add to their existing home, and I have no <coughs> objections to the proposed addition and support them in their efforts to update their home. Signed uh, by Tracy D. Simone Green. Same letter, also signed by Donald Blaze of 21 Pearson Street, Litchfield, New Hampshire, dated 4-12-2015. Same letter dated 5-12-2015, signed by Roger Antonowitz. 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 That should be 4-12, shouldn't it? Yes. Well, unless it just, is this the one you just handed me? No. The first one was the one I just seen. That was 512. Did you have anyone that didn't support you? Mm -hmm. Again, it, uh, uh, I don't know who I don't know who the abutter is behind me. Yeah, we um, we sent out certified letters and they were returned um, for whatever mailing address we have listed for that particular abutter. So uh, whatever mailing address the town has listed for that particular abutter, I anyways. Know them. No problem. Anything, so. We're just required to send it. They must get a tax bill. Yeah. Yep. So these will also be placed into the file. Everybody look at these. Everybody look at the pictures as well. This is going to be marked as Exhibit A. Fourteen pictures of houses on Pearson Street. Perfect. Yes. You're the only house without a two car garage. One, two, three, four. Just put four. I think there's like only three or three left in the house. Two more left. Yeah, three total, right? There's three left. Two more left. Yeah. 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 So you had better get this done then. So <laughs> I'm just trying to maintain the standards of the neighborhood. There you go. <laughs> so it doesn't show where the driveway is going to go. Oh, from the front to the side. Right? The driveway is not changing. The driveway won't change. No, the driveway is existing. And actually, the driveway goes yeah, down and splits into two house. cars now, so it'll be literally. I don't think so. You're putting a box around. I mean, we might patch it in. Yeah, we're building a garage that line up the driveway. Okay. All right. Your your house is not in this group of no, pictures, it's not. correct? No, it doesn't have a garage and a breezeway on it. Do you have a picture of your house now? Uh, I have a picture of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. The driveway's not on the yeah. lot. Right? I don't know if I have a picture of my house. That's an interesting question. So where is the driveway located now? I can draw it. Right off the bat. I can draw it. Yeah. Sure. Driveway comes in right through here now, right in this area, and just flares a little bit. <laughs> He's going to be coming in here and doing the same thing, just playing in it. 
It's going to be the same curve. So, just, so there's no garage. It just ends. The driver just comes up and so ends. Right, put right up to the garage. So the curb cut won't come close to the corner. No. Wait, to the, so to the garage? No, the curb cut will be where it is. It's still, we will use the existing driveway. That this may help you. So they're okay. going to put a box on top of the existing parking spots. The both <laughs> cars. Basically, yeah. Basically, the, the, the driveway is here and the house is here, right? If you will. Corner of the house ends here. So basically, when it comes out, it'll come out in front of the garage. We'll have to probably do a little pavement to come to get to the garage because this is oh. at a slight angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that? I can. <laughs> so it's coming off of here then. Yeah, the just front off of Pearson. Okay. So the driveway cut is on Pearson. Yes. Well, have to be right. There's no street, so <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I don't propose to build okay, Moral Street. Okay. <laughs> on the Moral Street. I might have you do that. <laughs> So what is Morrill Street now? Is that just woods? Yes. Right here? So yeah. all of this yeah. is woods. Well, uh, the other yeah. side of Morrill is <coughs> there. This right here is Morrill. Yes. Yeah. But the, this is woods. That's and, all woods. And this is another existing house? Correct. That's built. Yes. Like this house there. Yes. And what yeah. number of house is that? That's 22. 22. Just curious, how far away, how far away are they from Morrill? So you said I'm, I'm kind of envisioning what you what you just described. Is the house? That's what I'm trying here? to find. Yes. And are they? Are they oh, they're set back. Oh no, they're set back. They're the, probably it's it's a it's, it's a split level and 20, 60, I would say they're probably 50 or 60 feet. They're actually well, closer. They're at, least 50. they're at least 50 feet, but they're closer to the the land than I am. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But they're yeah. They're, I think there would be 60 feet from the. The set, you know, they're six Worst case scenario. Let's okay. just skip over it. Their house is close. They want to put a garage on this side. That put both garages pretty close together. Right. Well, they couldn't do that, and it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, they, they, would, they would be too close to do that. But they, it's also a split level house with a garage under. So I think when they lay, when they put that house on the lot, they knew that. Yeah. So they probably set it closer to this side yeah. so that they, if they wanted to put addition on the other, other side, side, it would right. be possible. Gotcha. Or back. Because the garage is already there. Exactly. On, the other, on, this, on this side. Yeah. On your side. Right. Gotcha. And probably when when the house when I, my house was built, he probably he thought he probably had enough room to put a grease ray garage, but he didn't take into consideration a 50 foot setback, right? Because yeah. it's normally 20 feet. Yeah. So this is all wood it right here. Yes. So it's not even like P. There's nothing that no, would so indicate that there's a room. It's woods. Okay. So my question for you is: Is that not built because it's a possibility that there's wetland there, and maybe that's why it's still uh, just a paper road? All the road that's out. Yeah, out. Kevin walked out, so. I mean, my, I have a 20 PSM, yeah. and my, uh, what I think it is, is so the land's not landlocked behind us, so it's an easement to continue a road to access all that. There's 100 acres there, mm -hmm. so there's no wetlands. There's no wetlands? No. no. Okay. Uh, I'm just curious. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta, you say your name. What you, what you Jim saying? Bonin. Jim Bonin. Yeah, there's no wetlands. I, I only brought that up because I. That's it. That's that, that Twenty Pearson Street. Yeah. Okay. So this is the people that own the land that's right here, way in the back. Uh, that's a good question. The trust, the neighbors that you said you couldn't reach or didn't know. They, well, there's that on the land right here. Yeah. So and that piece of land starts there and goes all the way to Route Three. Three A, yeah. Three A. One big wooded piece of land. Oh, so I was thinking going this way would head into the sawmill fields. No. 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 Sawmill no. fields get this way, wouldn't no. they? So it's maybe this will help. Question. It's kind of when you use television. See this here? Well, I just. Did you know we didn't have that? This is, this is oh, where the house of question is here tonight. For yeah, yeah. it's right here. Yeah. You notice that there is a black line. This is a property line. You got a piece here and you got a piece there. And those right. two pieces are all by the same. And they go to Albuquerque. Go up. Al no, I mean, not Albuquerque. Sorry. <laughs> three A. Sorry. They're all the way down to Route Three A, just north of the Passive Conway Golf Course. Okay. Just. Hmm. That's Passive Conway is here. These two pieces of land go all the way down to here. It's all the same family. Where's um, Shabano's house? Is over here. Okay. Okay. Midway, as it's called, because that's what it used to be yep. called. It's right here, across to there. 
This is where the property line here, same truss, uh, here and here. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is one of the... One of the stripes. It's, it, it's the Hales. Uh, Candace Hale and her daughter and her grandchildren all along the long there. That's where the new house is being built. That's one of the grandchildren, right. Josh's. And that's one of the other lot, that's the over here. Okay. Oh, so that's uh -huh. the land. Okay. Okay. And this is Hale's here. Where's, the, where's here. the church's property on 3A? Church number 3A is right there. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. I know the piece now. This is the piece of the five acre. We just subdivided out of this piece here. That's being renovated now, that one house right mm -hmm. up. Yeah. It's taking all winter. Brian Smith always has some of the coldest weather to work in. There's a question on how far the this house was from the right of way. Yeah. According to this right here, I'm over, I'm about 90 feet away from the right of way. But they have room for a garage to. Okay. A garage next to the garage. Yeah. That house is pushed more to the left side of the lot. Yep. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. You're more than welcome. I know you guys don't look at maps like this every day. And can't get. I do. <laughs> yes, sir. So, have we gone through each criteria? No, hmm? no we have not. Let's go through the criteria then. Mm -hmm. read them? You can them? read verbatim if you like. Uh, it's all a matter of getting this all into the record. Ideally, you know, a lot of times we get the condensed version written. You might expand on them if you feel. I mean, obviously, you're trying to you're trying to sway the jury here. <laughs> contrary to the public interest because the proposed addition, uh, the end result will be typical of other houses that already exist in the neighborhood. Um, and it's in reality, most of the other homes in the neighborhood already have this addition. Uh, and um, the spirit of the ordinance observed because the proposed addition would be approximately, still be 43, 53 feet from the center of the road itself, if the road is ever constructed. And um, again, there's still, there would be still enough woods between the addition and the actual right of way that would still be maintained. So even if the road was put in there after this addition, I still would have enough property to maintain a strip of woods. So it wouldn't have, you wouldn't have the sense of being too close to the road. Um, oh, so it wouldn't be open. You'd, you'd still have wood between the, yeah, the building exactly. and the road. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Because even the road right away where they can, the town would come in and go, could go to 10 feet beyond it, right? That's I it. still have woods between it. Exactly. Okay. Um, substantial justice is done because the proposed addition would still follow the basic intent of the ordinance, um, and it's very similar to other houses on the street. I think that the intent of the ordinance was to keep houses from be, from using too much of your land right up to the edge of a, of a property line, and I would still be 40 feet, which in in town, it's 20 foot on a side setback, so I would still be double the standard setback. And indeed, if you drive around town, there are some houses that are a lot closer to roads that pre existed the ordinance, right? Uh, yep. The values of the surrounding properties are not diminished. Actually, I think the houses are diminished now because I'm bringing, I'm dragging the value of the homes <laughs> in the neighborhood down because I don't have a, a <laughs> garage and a This is right. the guy without the garage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the proposed addition would not diminish property values. Uh, would actually, I think, would increase values as it would mimic other, other houses in the neighborhood and certainly would be um, in appropriate construction and et cetera. Um, I do have a picture of what I... I don't know if I, this is what, I have a Gambrel, so this is kind of the house that we've, um, we're driving around, we've looked at and we've most admired so far, because we think it's, it's appropriate, house. it fits in the side, huh? Yeah, that's my house. Is yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and finally, um, literal enforcement of the provision of the ordinance result in unnecessary hardship because, because um, when the house was built, it was placed in such a way to allow for an addition or garage to be built. There's room for the garage, but not for a garage and attached room to allow access to the above garage living space. The attached room will allow the space above the garage to be accessible from inside the house and connect the new living space above the garage to the existing home, which is more desirable and what has become the norm for today's homes. The breezeway attached room will provide continuity between the existing kitchen and the living space above the garage, making it more accessible and make it more, feel like more is part of the home. For the above reasons, I'm requesting a dimensional variance of approximately 10 feet 
to allow for the proposed addition. The proposed addition would still maintain an approximately 41 foot setback from the not yet constructed class four road that exists only on paper. I guess I want to emphasize that. And the proposed addition would look very similar to the other homes in the area and uh, indeed that exists now in the neighborhood. Very good. What space do you have on the other side? Just curious. Um, probably, I'm probably about, I'm actually probably about 20 feet to my property line there, maybe 30. It says, it says 37. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm, back. I'm not good with judging that. Either. Well, but if, if, if the house were positioned 20 feet that way, you would have had plenty of space. If the, right. if the original dimensions of the house had this in mind, a breezeway well, and a garage. I think when it's this about house 17 feet before yeah, he gets yeah, into yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. When the house was built, when the houses were built, I think breezeway garages weren't Agreed. the thing you just put garages on. So, you know, was, you know yeah. of course, nobody builds houses as small as mine now either. Earlier you mentioned, um, I think, a family member was moving in. That was part of the driving factor for the addition. Um, there, does, there isn't any mention here about an accessory dwelling unit. Is that what you're putting over the garage? No, no, no. no. So ADU doesn't come into this at all as far as no. just a breezeway and a garage. That's what you're looking no, at. No, breezeway and a garage and a living space over it for her. Yes. So there is. No kitchen. No, no, no. So it's, it's a room. Not, it's it's a not room. Gonna wind up. We don't mean... She doesn't like to cook. <laughs> I'm a chef. Oh. Oh. Um, Psychos is a chef. That is the question. Um, <laughs> and uh, frankly, no. I mean, and, and I mean, it's 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 going to become it'll become a family room, yeah. you know, eventually. And I mean, oh. and we tend to have Good all the holidays at my home, and because um, again, people, when you're a chef, you never stop being a chef. Yeah. You know, that's like a life. That's like a life sentence. <laughs> um, so everybody comes to my house. Yeah, we need the space. Plus, gives me an excuse to finally get a garage. There you go. It's it's a room that you happen to put your grant your mother into. Exactly. Right. I have the right. battery if we need it. Yeah. No, we're good. No, not the other three I got. Any other questions before we take a look for yeah, public do. input? All right, at this point, I'll ask for some public input. Do we have anybody who would like to speak in favor of the application? No. Oh, do we have any public out there who wants to speak against or at all about the Patriots' fines? No. Oh. Okay, good. No, I don't want to go there. We'll be all night on that one. Um, all right, so we have no public input at this point. I see you reading. I was reading. You getting prepared for another question? <laughs> no, I, I my thought process was since the road is not in existence, uh, right? But it's not it's not a road, mm -hmm. and the definition is for a public right of way doesn't even need a variance. So I was trying to define find the definition. It because of our definition in our own subdivision regulations for right of way. Right, and that's so what I was looking here in, in the state statute. It says proposed. So I was trying to help you, but. Right. Oh, I tried to. She wouldn't have been here. <laughs> I appreciate it. I would not have sent them here, okay? I know. I was just looking. I was, I was looking. Oh, I was too. All right. Kevin, Kevin, did, Kevin did actually check that for me. So, But I appreciate, Laura, you doing that. I really do. I missed the question, Laura. Um, so our ordinance talks about the um, setback has to be 50 feet from public rights of way. And since it's proposed and not an actual road, mm -hmm. I was thinking it doesn't even need to be in front of us because it's not an actual road. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find the definition of right of way. And it does say um, it's all present and proposed. So that's why he is here. That was a recent change about four or five years, years ago. And the legislative branch, because it was allowed because of the dirt section, and it was just a right of way, class six roads and stuff like that, or types of right of ways. But this was classified as such for such, and that's why we're stuck with it. Understood. Okay. Any other questions from the board? Do we have any motions to close public input? Mm -hmm. Deliberate. I'll make a motion to close public input. Al second. We have a motion seconded by Al. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Public input's closed. We're just going to talk about this. Uh, Al, can we move to a vote? Do we have any? Motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. 
The variance of uh, variance from LZO 502.03 setbacks. Of 9.3 feet, was it? Of um, 9.3 yeah, feet. feet, yes. We comfortable with that? Uh, we have a motion to approve the variance for 9.3 feet. Any okay. questions? Any? Nope. Any, all, any uh, seconded? I'll second. We have a seconded. Let's take a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Board's approved your request. You got to wait the 30 days like we talked about. Um, as long as you don't have an appeal, I'm sure you can work with Kevin. You'll get a notice from this uh, board um, basically just stating that your application's been approved. Uh, and really, that's it. No further public notices will go out after that. Thank you. Let's hope, they, let's hope Tom Brady gets a board like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, really, huh? Yeah. That'll be a little bit more, a few more dollars. Too. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Thank you. guys. Kevin, don't leave. Keep All right. Next on our list, really, is election of officers for the 2015-2016 term. We need a chairperson and a vice chairperson. So, anybody want to... I'll make a motion to nominate for Charlie as chair. Second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do it another year. Um, it's getting easy where we only have one or two cases. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'll make a motion if I could. Um, uh, well, do I, do I have to vote? All right, so we have a motion. Um, I'm going to abstain on that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So 401. Um, and I'm going to make a motion. I don't get a vote on that. You don't? Why not? As an alternate, I don't get If I appoint you, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You're a full serving member. Oh, I didn't take tonight, it. yeah, he vote on everything. Okay, talk with the food chain guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so I'm going to make a motion to nominate Laura as vice Second. chair if you will be willing to do another year. <laughs> John seconded it right away. <laughs> so um, we have a vote. Uh, uh, Same vote. Motion and yeah. a seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I'm abstaining. One abstention. Okay, so we have our office. I have no other mail. I have no other business on my list. We just got to finish wordsmithing this. Yep. Or do we would just take his verbatim? I don't have a problem with that. Put everything you can do in time. I'll play with it tonight and tomorrow. After that, I'm in Portugal. Yeah, and I would, um, when that's being done, I think it's really important to know that there was no opposition at all from those about right. us in the back. Yeah. 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 Well, we've got the letters of support too. So, do you want me to do any wording in this? If you can. Okay. What do you want to do? All right. It sounds like Al had something you wanted to talk about. So we got a few oh, more minutes before we close it. Oh, you want to close? We're we going to close first. Yeah. We're going to close the meeting. So that's not business. I don't have any other business. Anybody else got business? No business. Uh, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting at seven thirty-five. Seven thirty-five. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Meeting closed. If you don't mind, we can stop the recording or broadcast.